Coventry City 0-3 Manchester United, FA Cup Semi-Final Live. Updates, Score, Analysis, Highlights. Second-tier Coventry City are hoping for a huge upset against Premier League giants Manchester United in their FA Cup Semi-Final at Wembley on Sunday. Live, Coventry City vs Manchester United stats on fatimob.com. Mark Robbins' side can certainly pull it off as they beat Wolves in the quarterfinals to reach the semi-final for just the second time in their history. The Sky Blues' recent history has seen them climb up the leagues from the fourth tier to the championship playoff final last season, where they lost on penalties to Luton, and Robbins has led the way the entire time, doing a fantastic job on a low budget to revive Coventry as a club amid severe financial turmoil, stadium sharing, and general chaos. This FA Cup semi-final feels like a reward for Robbins, his players, and the fans, and Coventry will play with absolutely no fear. They've unexpectedly lost their last two championship games after being the form team in the second tier and their hopes of surging into the playoffs aren't over but it is now looking very unlikely. USMNT fans have had a close eye on Coventry this season as Haji Wright has scored 17, Ellis Sims is top scorer with 18, and has added six assists in an exceptional season for the Sky Blues. Things are quite clear for Manchester United, they need to win the FA Cup to save their season. Eric Ten Hag's side have won just one of their last six games and are really struggling for confidence, form and to have any control in games. Even if United win the FA Cup and finish sixth in the Premier League it feels like Eric Ten Hag's time in charge at Old Trafford is probably up. They have incredible individual quality and beat Liverpool to reach this semi-final but there's just something about this United side which tells you they could quite easily be on the end of huge FA Cup upset this weekend. Coventry City vs Manchester United Live Updates Coventry City vs Manchester United Live Score, 0-3 Goal Scorers, McTominay, 23-foot, Maguire, 45-plus-1, Fernandez, 58 Bruno Fernandez Goal, Coventry 0-3 Man United, 58th Minute Marcus Rashford's dribble into the box is defied by Joel Latibodaya, but the Jamaican's touch goes right to Bruno Fernandez. The Portuguese moves himself into shooting position and hammers home. Halftime, Coventry City 0-2 Manchester United. No much drama here. United's pair of goals come from 11 shot attempts to Coventry's 1. Straightforward. Harry Maguire goal, Coventry 0-2 Man United, 45 plus 1 minute. It's a corner kick, and Maguire gets to the spot to thump a header home. The 2-0 lead is well earned. Scott McTominay goal, Coventry 0-1 Man United, 23rd minute. Scott McTominay starts the play and goes to the back post. Diogo Dallo gets the final pass for a McTominay finish in a gaping goal. Hints of an upset? Casemiro partners with Harry Maguire at centre-back, and that means Manchester United will try to cover the midfield with Kobe Mainu and Scott McTominay behind Bruno Fernandes. There's still probably far too much in United's attack versus Coventry's back line, but there's more of a reason for being on upset alert than most days. Coventry City lineup: Collins, Latibuadir, Thomas, Kitching, Bidwell, Eccles, Chief, Hare, Van Uijk, Sims, Wright. Manchester United lineup: Onana, Dallo, Maguire, W. E. Mbasaka, Casemiro, Mainu, McTominay, Fernandez, Garnacho, Rashford, Hodgland. Coventry City Focus, Team News The duo of Sims and Wright have been excellent up front, while in midfield Callum O'Hare brings creativity and drive, but Coventry will badly miss Jamaican international Casey Palmer who is suspended. Coventry are a tough, solid team and every single player knows the job they have to do. Out, Tatsuhiro Sakamoto, back, Jamie Allen, Calf, Casey Palmer, suspended. Manchester United Focus, Team News United's defensive injuries continue to leave them in a tough spot with Harry Maguire and youngster Willy Cambuala set to start at centre-back once again. The quartet of Hodgland, Fernandez, Rashford and Garnacho are likely to start in attack and they should have enough quality to fire United to a second straight FA Cup final. Out, Anthony Marshall, Groin, Victor Lindelof, Thai, Tyrell Malaysia, Ni, Luke Shaw, Thai, Lisandro Martinez, Calf, Rafael Varun, Ankle. Johnny Evans, undisclosed, questionable, Anthony, Muscle, Scott McTominay, Knock. 
Coventry vs Manchester United live score and goal updates from FA Cup semi-final as Wright equalises late. Man United play Coventry City in the semi-finals of the FA Cup on Sunday and will bring you live updates from the game. Manchester United can progress to the final of the FA Cup with a win against Coventry City today. United take on the championship side at Wembley and must deliver an improved performance on their showing against Bournemouth last weekend. Although the points were shared against the Cherries in a 2-2 draw, Andoni Irola's side took the lead twice on the south coast and created more chances to score. United fell short in the final of the FA Cup against Manchester City last season and this season's competition is an opportunity to right the wrongs of the defeat in the derby. Regarding the team news, Scott McTominay and Anthony are set to be available again and Harry Maguire should feature, despite picking up a small injury against Bournemouth. Manchester United show serious interest in £51 million Barcelona target and other transfer rumours. Latest Manchester United transfer news and gossip ahead of the summer window opening. Manchester United are being linked with several potential new signings ahead of the summer transfer window. Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos Group completed their 25% takeover of United earlier this year. As a result, Ratcliffe and company have taken control of football operations at Old Trafford, which includes the transfer side of the business and signing new players. Eric Ten Hag's side are currently preparing for an FA Cup semi-final against Coventry City, where a major trophy is still up for grabs. United are also battling to finish in the top four of the Premier League but face an uphill task with just six top-flight fixtures remaining this term. Even though the season is yet to be completed, United are already being linked with potential new signings. One of the latest rumours concerns a possible new midfield addition, while another concerns a current member of the United squad. Reports are claiming that United are one of several clubs interested in signing RB Leipzig midfielder Danny Olmo. According to Mundo Deportivo, United are showing serious interest in signing the Spain international in the summer. As well as the Reds, it has been claimed that Barcelona and Bayern Munich are also interested in signing Olmo. The report has also stated that any club, including United, who wish to sign Olmo this summer would need to pay at least 60 million euros, 51 million pounds to get a deal over the line. Elsewhere, it has been reported that Fulham are interested in signing United midfielder Sofian Amrabat this summer. Amrabat is currently spending the season on loan with the Reds from Fiorentina. United agreed a €10 million, Euros, £8.6 million pounds, loan fee for Amrabat to sign him on a temporary basis for the season. The Reds have the option of making the deal permanent for €20 million, Euros, £17.2 million, pounds plus a further €5 million, Euros, €4.3 million, pounds, in add-ons. According to Tata Mercato Web in Italy, Fulham are interested in signing Amrabat this summer. It has been claimed that the Premier League club are looking to sign the on-loan United midfielder in a deal that could be worth as much as €30 million, Euros, £26 million, pounds, this summer. Amrabat has made 23 appearances for United this season during his loan move from Fiorentina. It remains to be seen what the United hierarchy will decide in the summer regarding Amrabat's future and whether or not to make the deal permanent.